Hello YouTube users, thanks for visiting my channel today. We're going to talk about getting your Studio 3 Series mixer set up with OBS. This assumes that you have some basic understanding of the Studio 3 Series mixer and have already set it up for the WDM 1-2 input-output. Assuming that you've already done that, there are other tutorials that describe how to set that up. Joe Gilder has a couple of good ones. Um, we'll go ahead and proceed with the potential problem that you might be having with OBS Studio. Currently I'm in the uh, Studio Live uh, application. It's called Universal Control. Just going to go over a couple of quick things I did. So you can see I've got left and right channel input here as I'm talking into, this, uh, into these two microphones. What I did actually is on the mixer itself, just a couple of tips. I have two microphones plugged into channel one and channel two in the back. These are the long gooseneck mics that you typically see at a speaking engagement. So again, I have both of those plugged in the back. They both require the 48 volt option to be turned on. Make sure if you have those kind of mics, you've got it turned on or the volume is going to be very low. With those two microphones plugged in to channels one and two, I have also enabled the select button at the top of each of those channels. And then I chose the link button, which is in the fat channels section. That actually allows me to control the volume with one slider versus two. I've also renamed the channel to both one and two, but you can see ideally I'm running everything through channel two. Again, that's done with the link button. Joe Gilder from Personas has a good tutorial on this online. Once you've got that set up and you've got activity in Universal Control, you can then go ahead and switch over to the Windows 10. By the way, this is applying to Windows 10 here. This is not for a Windows 7 or a Windows 11, just in case you're running any of those other operating systems. This is strictly for Windows 10 and of course not Macintosh. Go into the microphone section which can be found if you look up at the top you'll see it's a settings. If you go down to your search button or search bar down here just type in microphone and the one you want to choose is this one here. Make sure that it does show this section and once you're in here you'll land at the top. So the first thing you want to make sure is to make sure the microphone access for this device is on. If that's not on, you're probably not going to get any input whatsoever. Once you verify that that's on, go ahead and scroll down to the next section, which is called Allow Desktop Apps to Access Your Microphone. Make sure that is on, of course. And ideally, the one you want to look for is the OBS Studio. Now, in my case, I had an, in, an initial problem when I installed OBS. This was not in this allowed application list here. And that was part of my initial problem. So if you don't see this here, my suggestion would be to make sure you have your mixer on. That's your actual Studio 3 Series mixer. Make sure that's on. Go ahead and install OBS Studio. Then come into this microphone section that I pointed out and go to the list that I've just shown you and scroll down alphabetically and make sure this is listed. Again, if it's not there, you're probably not going to have much success at this point for any kind of input. The other thing you want to check is in the lower right hand corner in the sys tray area, make sure you do see that microphone down below. Okay, so once you've done all of that, you're on your way to having some success. Go ahead and open up OBS Studio if you haven't. And what you want to see in OBS Studio with your Series 3 mixer is a setup similar to this. Um, when you go through the wizard, it'll walk you through setting up your display and also your sound. I'm going to go ahead and double click this. This is merely a naming convention that I gave it. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and double click my entry, but there are a couple of places where you can access this to show you what it looks like. So when you walk in through the OBS setup, you're going to have a bunch of options. The one that you're going to want to choose is this one here. Um, it's called Studio Live WDM 1.2. And the reason for this, and this doesn't apply to Macintosh, is when you're working with streaming, it can only handle two channels at a time, is my understanding. So as you can see, it's broken up for 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8. If you've only got two mics, 
likely your case or maybe even one this is really going to be your choice right here so go ahead and click OK. I did not choose use device timestamps. Uh, that's not really applicable in this situation. Click OK. And then um, in your source list, which you can add your sources, by the way, if you don't have one, go ahead and click the plus sign. And then you can add an audio source in there and choose the, um, the, WD, the WDM 1 slash 2. Once you've done that, you should be good to go and you should have um, movement in your LEDs on your screen and also on your mixer. Anyway, I hope that helps you and provides you a little bit uh, of a potential idea on how to solve your problem with the uh, audio input. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I'm fairly new to OBS and I'm also new to the Studio 3 Series Live Mixer. And uh, after about a day of trying to troubleshoot this, I found that most of these things, or actually all of these things, cured my issue. Hopefully it helps you, and have a wonderful day.